I'm Dylan Martin from the Athena Wireless. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly connect your AO60 Mini radio with the PoE Plus injector that we provide. So to start, take your PoE Plus injector and accompanying power cable and plug the female end of that power cable into the back of the PoE brick. Once you've done that, you can take the male end of the power cable and plug it into a surge suppressor. It's very important you always want to use a surge suppressor when you're connecting our radio. Now at this point, you can take Cat5e cable with a coupler on one end and take the end of the coupler and connect it with the Cat5e cable coming out of the back of our radio. You always want to make sure that these connectors click when you're connecting these cables. Now you can take the other end of that same Ethernet cable, and on the PoE Plus brick, you're going to see a port that says Power LAN Out. Plug the other end of that cable into that port. Now we can take another Cat5 cable, and we're going to plug that into the port that says LAN In on the PoE brick. We're going to take the other end of that cable, and you can plug it into any laptop. Now at this point, you can turn the switch on the surge suppressor to the on position. And now once you've done that, there should be a green light lit on the PoE, indicating that the unit is now powered on. So at this point, you could use your laptop and access the radio via a web browser. Now to turn the radio off properly, Simply flip the switch on the surge suppressor to the off position. Thanks for watching.